It wasn't happening without rebounding, especially uh, going into the half-time break. I think they were outworking us there. I was very happy how we responded in the second half to hold a team like that to 14 points in the third quarter and the last quarter is an outstanding uh, effort. And, um, you know, we're pretty good when we play defence and we're pretty average when we take shortcuts and uh, I think someone else is going to do the work. How important was it tonight to back up that down? Yeah, very important. You know, it's, <clears throat> we got a little bit of momentum. You know, from Adelaide, we want to carry that over. I thought the first quarter was, was pretty much spot on, and then the second quarter we kind of went to sleep and really didn't have a spark at all. We we're just going through the motions, and um, Adelaide got comfortable. Ah, oh, sorry, Melbourne got comfortable, and uh, you know, when they get comfortable, they're pretty pretty good, and they scored 30 points that second quarter. Um, second half, as you said, pretty good. Do you feel like you're sort of starting to build um, heading in towards the playoffs? You've got a few more games, but you never sort of feel that one there. Yeah, we want the tough games to, to come in there. So, you know, we get exposed to that, and then that we can go away and work at it and uh, know what works we, we keep, and what doesn't work we throw that out. And um, First and foremost is our work ethic. I think, you know, for... Three quarters, we worked pretty pretty hard out there. Um, yeah, so that's the pleasing part. Um, Damo, tonight, offensively as well, we always said the defence, but scoring points. Yeah, it was really aggressive, which was good, going to the rack. Um, I think about first three or four were at the rack and then hit a couple of threes. He's been shooting well from the three-point line all year. You know, he's been doing a lot of work for it and pretty poor on the foul line, though. So uh, maybe <laughs> that's the next step. last one. It's worth a double, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> But uh, look, he's, he has so much influence on the defensive end and he gets us going. He's our engine room to work and um, you know, a lot of teams leave him free because they want to cover Jermaine and James and Sean and um, Maddie and Jesse. And you know, he's getting some wide open looks and the guys are trusting him to give him the ball and he's doing his job of knocking it down. I it kind of felt the same as any other game. Um, the reality is, you know, if there's five of us out there, our starting five, I'm the fifth least offensively minded. You know, Jesse, Sean, Jermaine and um, Jimmy, they're four great scorers. So defend, uh, teams have to pick their poison and usually it does open up a little bit more room for me tonight. And, and the faith my teammates have in me, like, if I turn down a shot, Bill will rip me. So it's nice that they have my back and have confidence in me. And, and I'm glad I was able to repay it tonight by knocking down some open shots. No, and that's killing me. So what are you saying? He's it's, shaving it's, points. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not often I get to 20, so uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have had a new top score, but I guess I'll have to get back on the free throw line and work on that. What was the feeling like uh, amongst the players tonight? Did you feel like you're getting back into a bit of a, a group? Yeah, it was, it was frustration um, going into half time um, to come out and have a good quarter defensively and then to back it up in the second quarter and give up 30 points. That's not the team we want to be and that's not a team that will win a championship. So we came out a lot more focused in the third quarter and held them to 28 points in the second half. And all year I've said we're going to win this thing if we can play defence. And uh, for three quarters we did and the one quarter we didn't, you know, they outscored us by eight or so points. So I was happy with the second half, but we've got to make sure we're more consistent for the 40 minutes. Trevor, there's only, I think, one point in it about midway through that last quarter. Given your, your form in the past couple of months, how important is it to yeah, it was, you know, it was possession after possession, wasn't it? Going back and forth and we're giving up some dunks on transition and and um, you want that competition, you know, the heat of the battle. And that's, that's what I've been saying to the guys. When the heat of the battle comes, it's the team that plays together the best is going to win. I thought we were playing unselfishly. We hit um, uh, Greg for a good open three. Um, Jesse hit one in the corner, then uh, Jermaine hit one out of transition. And, um, you know, it's good that, uh, you know, we're getting that exposure right now. We got our smacked on the rebounding. You know, the second quarter, we got one rebound for the whole quarter. That's 10 minutes, we got one rebound. Uh, you know, that rebound is hard work. It's getting position, it's been physical underneath there, and it's actually going there. Um, we, we allowed too many open, easy layups, and they got too many offensive rebounds that second quarter. Second half, you can see three or four of our guys going for the same ball, and that's, you know, I don't mind that. I don't even mind if the ball goes out of court and we smack each other and fall down. It's, it's that effort and intensity to get that. How did you see Matty's game tonight, and how's he uh, 
Yeah, no, really good. Um, probably rushed there a little bit just to get back in his groove, but he came down with some big rebounds and made that good little demo, made that dish to him, little 12 foot jumper and uh, one at the top of the elbow, I think it was. And yeah, he, he really needed that and um, good signs come, to come ahead. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it plans out. Probably uh, Jesse's been playing out of position to cover him for a fair bit and doing an outstanding job. So hopefully we can slide uh, Jesse and Sean playing more of the four uh, and Matt and Tommy in the five. So hopefully that's not far off. Uh, what's the dynamic like with that sort of small ball lineup to start? How is that different to when you've got Tom or Matt on the It just means you can space it a little bit more. I mean, it doesn't matter who's setting the screen. Sean and Jesse are capable of picking and popping and it just spreads the floor so that Guys like Jermaine, Jimmy, anyone who wants to penetrate, it usually opens up and you've got shooters um, all along the perimeter. So, you know, both of them are, are great spread guys. They can uh, hit the three when they're open and it's a great look for us. But in saying that, you know, when we get touches in the post, we're, we're a great team and a lot better. So uh, whether it's Jesse, Sean or one of our, you know, standard centres in, in Maddie or Tom, you know, we've got to make sure we've still got a post influence and, and just reiterate to Jesse and Sean, you can get down there because they're such good shooters, they forget that they can get on the block occasionally. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's no secret that you know I love playing alongside Matty. I have done so ten of the last eleven years, and you know he he was amazing at training this week. He was excited tonight. He got out there and you know dipped his got his feet wet, and I think he's only going to be better for the experience. And he showed signs of you know pre-injury Matty or pre-concussion Matty, and uh, he's going to be great for us the next month or so. Yeah, no, yeah, good question. It was that that unit had it going. You know, of all year, I've said it's not the five best players that um, you know get the results of the five guys playing best, and that sometimes that changes from night to night. And I thought that last five were outstanding when Greg came on and, and Jesse chasing that ball down, and and then all of a sudden Jermaine cramped up, and uh, but I thought they were outstanding uh, playing. And the same with Damo. I was nearly going to take him off, but he was playing so well. I just got to ride him out. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't a good game. He shot the the hell out of it at training today, this morning, but uh, uh, didn't transfer. So um, you know, you're going to get one or two of those. So hopefully, there. That's it. Just feel okay. It was just cramp. Just cramp. Yeah. Yep. A word on um, on Greg and Jesse in particular, their hustle sort of late. I mean, what are they bringing you? Oh, Greg just in the boards every time. You see him. He's out. You know. Giving away four or five inches on the rebounds, he's battling his heart out. And that last possession that Jesse got it was like, wow! I thought that was, you know, going to be their ball. It turns around, and and um, you know, just the hustle plays. They put their body on the line, and they're just great teammates to have. It'd be great to uh, play alongside him. Okay. He's all right. Yeah, nothing. Jesse will tell. There's nothing wrong with him. But probably banged up a little bit.